Okay, here we go. A brand new survival series on 1.17 Minecraft Java Edition. Here we go. A brand new series. Looks like we spawned in a jungle. So I just started a brand new survival world. This is going to become a big ongoing series on my channel, I'm hoping. Um, I'm going to try and put a lot of content in each episode, so it's going to... It's going to be a lot more exciting than my previous survival series I've done. Um, and we're going to be, you know, looking at the new features and everything of 1.17. I know it was a pretty small update, but I'm excited nonetheless. Also, I'm on Java Edition, so I'm missing my horns, which makes me look a little stupid. So we're going to have to get a helmet really quickly. I spawned here in the jungle, and I'm thinking I'm going to start off by doing just an hour-long mining session. Um, you know, trying to see if we can see any of the new cave features as well as, you know, just getting some good loot to uh, get started here on. There we go, first tree down. I just realized I'm going to need to get some food, so we're going to do a little bit of food collection first, and then I'm going to begin the hour long mining session. There are a ton of pigs over here. Ooh, got some copper ore. First time finding this. I don't know if that's mineable with a stone pick, so I'm just going to keep going for now. You know what? I'm just going to try mining it with the stone pickaxe. Yes, it worked. Okay, what is this? Raw copper. Okay, and then I believe that can be smelted down to give me copper ingots. Very cool. I love the way it looks with like the little bit of like rust and everything. Or not rust, but uh, oxidation that's got going on. That's really cool. It's kind of interesting that that drops raw iron now. Let's see, let's get that smelting away. I believe, will each of those give me an iron ingot? Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Making it more realistic. Ooh, got some new blocks here. I think we've hit a geode, let's see. Yes, amethyst in there. Awesome, we've got a big geode right here, sort of thing. I don't know if that's what they're called, but they're basically big geodes. Oh, oh, no, don't blow up the geode, don't blow it up. Oh, okay, looks like the geode's okay. So it's got an outer layer of this smooth basalt stuff an inner layer of calcite, and then on the very inside here, it's got this amethyst. So I'm gonna see if I can break into the inside. So yeah, here you can see the layers. So that's the outer layer, the middle layer, and then the inner is the amethyst blocks, which is very, very cool. I'm gonna see if I can, I can collect blocks of amethyst, okay. What's this? Can I mine this? No, that didn't give me anything. I believe I have to mine the really large shards, as if they're kind of growing like wheat or something like that. I think you have to wait until they get fully big to collect anything from them. Yes, there we go. Got some amethyst shards. Okay, so these ones I don't think will give me anything when I break them. I have to break these large ones. And then I believe they grow out of these kind of cracked looking blocks. I believe those are like the, the budding amethyst blocks, I think is what they're called. And so those actually grow these little shards. So I believe I can craft a looking glass or something like that out of the copper ingots that I got and the amethyst shards. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to craft that. That's not it. Is it without these bits here? Yes, there we go, a spy glass, that's so cool. And it just looks like this. Still don't have a helmet yet, so I still look stupid. But if you go like that, I hold it up to my eye, and I can zoom in super, super close. Which, it's going to be useful for seeing stuff far away. Like, there's some iron ore right there. So when I'm, like, above ground and everything, this will be super useful for finding stuff. There we go. Now I don't look as stupid. Yes, here we go. 
first lava pool I found yet. Hopefully there's some diamonds here. Diamonds, there we go. This is a wonderful lava system right here. Okay, let's be super careful, grab these diamonds. There we go, three diamonds. So at the end of my first mining session, I ended up with full iron armor, a shield, a diamond pick, a bunch of redstone, a whole bunch of iron ingots, lapis lazuli, gold ingot, a bunch of copper. I got enough obsidian to make a really nice portal for my base. And then I've got some pieces from that geode we found. I'm a little disappointed that I only got the three diamonds, but there will be more in the future, so nothing to worry about. The main thing I wanted was that pick so I could start collecting obsidian. The next thing I want to do is explore a little and look for a good place for my base. I immediately found this village right here, which is very close to where I just was over there. And this is perfect. I would love to set up my base close to a village. I think that would be lots of fun, and it would also open up all sorts of trading and stuff like that. It looks like there's some cool terrain over there, so I'm going to look into possibly setting up a shelter kind of over there by those cool arches and stuff like that. So while that area over there with the arches was neat, it doesn't have that much space for building. So I found this hill in this dark oak forest, and I think if I clear it off, this will be the perfect spot to build my first house. So I'm immediately getting to work clearing out some of these trees. This will probably take a day or two because there are a lot of large trees here. Okay, so now I've cleared off a whole bunch of this hilltop. And as you can see, I've collected a whole bunch of resources from that. The next step that I'm going to do is to take off some of these top layers of dirt um, just so I can have a big flat area to uh, start building my house on. I now have this large flat area to work with. So I'm gonna start laying out the framework for the house that I'm gonna build. Now this house is gonna be super basic, super simple, but it's just the first episode of the series, so that's all right. It'll get the job done and that's what's important. So this is the frame of the house that I'm gonna build. As you can see, I don't have any walls or anything up yet. I'm gonna get some snow off of the top of a mountain for that. I think that'll add some nice bright walls that'll look kind of fresh. And then if you see that kind of circular shape at the top left of my screen right now, that is going to become a massive tower that is going to shoot up above the rest of the house. And at the tippy top is where I'm gonna put my enchanting table once I get it. But this is just the start of the house, so I'm gonna go collect some materials for it. The house is already starting to come together with the few snow blocks I've placed. I'm now gonna go collect some bamboo for scaffolding. That way I can begin working on the roof. Collecting bamboo is definitely one of the most satisfying things in Minecraft. Just listen to this. Perhaps the only thing more satisfying than bamboo breaking is the scaffolding breaking. Whew, I love that. For the roof, I'm going to be using deep slate tile stairs. Now these can be crafted very easily. This is cobbled deep slate, which you get from mining deep slate. And then you just put that in the inventory like that and you get polished deep slate. You do that again, you get deep slate bricks. If you do it a fourth time, you get deep slate tiles. And if you take those deep slate tiles and you put them into the stair shape, you end up with deep slate tile stairs. Now you can make stairs out of any of the types of deep slate that I just showed you but I like the tile version because it looks a bit more like shingles, which I think will look really cool on the roof. Oop, first spider jockey. So I now have the first half of the roof done. The back doesn't have any roofing on it yet, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. You guys will not believe this. I found this awesome underground chasm. Um, I was trying to mine some more blackstone for the roof, and what I found is 21 diamonds. They've just been in clusters everywhere. It's crazy. I had zero luck on that first day trying to mine, but today has been crazy. I almost have enough for a full set of diamond armor and an enchanter. So I'm just gonna look for a few more. Hopefully I can get those. So I just found a mine shaft and look at this awesome feature. I don't know if this is new in 1.17, but it looks super cool. It's like the chains are holding up like a bridge 
So I guess when a mineshaft crosses across a chasm, it now has these cool hanging bridges, which is really sweet. I have been working on the base for the past couple days, and I am really happy with the results. Here it is. So you can see it from a distance really well. There's the main house part. I got the nice little tower there. I've got a little path leading up to it. And I think it looks really nice. I've tried my best to decorate it. And I think it looks pretty good. So let's get a closer look. I actually trapped a banner pillager in a boat here. So we'll be able to use him to uh, start a raid in the future if we need. This little lake area I've lined with uh, sugar cane. I kind of just did that for practical purposes more than decoration, but I still think it looks nice. Here's the path up to my house. I tried to make it look as nice as possible with the lanterns on these logs and everything. And I, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it gets the job done. Rather than having to climb up this mountain, I can just walk up here now, which is really nice. I've decorated the place with as much plant life as possible. I've got bamboo, flowers, vines creeping around the side of the house. I even put some pumpkins for color, as you can see. This is the uh, front porch. I've got a box of flowers here just to decorate a little bit. The view is really nice. I can see the village from here, which is great. Over here, I've just got some decorations, got some hay bales to make it look nice. Now on the inside, I've got this little kitchen area. Yes, I did get a goat. I just pulled him along with a lead that I found. Um, his name is Barley. Don't have a name tag for him yet, but I think he jumped up there and now can't get down. So that's where he lives, which is pretty cool. Just got some decorations as well as, uh, you know, practical storage hidden in some of these places. Here's where I sleep. Up here, I've just got like a little... Uh, fireplace with you know some extra storage and stuff like that down here as I'm sure you can hear is the nether portal I tried to make this look as cool as I could by making a large 5x5 five five portal and then I kind of use stairs and stuff to make it look kind of circular I think it looks pretty neat there's not a lot of space down here but that can always be expanded later now here's the tower that I was working on Notice that there's a mixture of blocks. Now I tried to apply a gradient to the tower, which means that it is darker at the bottom and it kind of naturally blends up to a lighter hue. So at the bottom here, I've got stone and gravel. Eventually it progresses to gravel and andesite, and then up to andesite and light gray wool, followed by light gray wool and light gray concrete powder. So note how much lighter it is up here than it was down there. I think it looks really nice. I think it turned out well. It's really subtle, so you can't really tell from the outside very well. But up here, I've got a nice little enchanting room. I've got enough, uh, let's see, I've got enough bookshelves for level 30 enchants. However, I did fall off the tower once, so I lost all of my XP. So we'll have to grind a bit before I can start getting enchantments. You know, I just got some lapis storage there. So that's the, the majority of the tower is just the enchanting room at the top. And that is basically all of the base, as I've shown you. Got this main area that's carpeted, got my goat, bedroom, portal, some extra space up there, and then the enchanting room. So I think it's got everything I need. I think it looks pretty good from the outside. I was really trying to focus on my building and decorating skills, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm pleased with it. Got some barrels over here for decoration. You can kind of tell the gradient from over here. That's kind of dark and fades up to a slightly lighter color. It's kind of hard to tell though. And uh, yeah, that is the build. So this took me quite a long time of working off camera, but I think it turned out great. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a great start to my new survival series. And yeah, so I've got a ton of steak from the cows I killed for those bookshelves. But other than that, what I've been eating is mostly just mushroom stew from mushrooms I find back there. So my food supplies are really not great right now. So next episode, I am going to be hopping into the nether and building a hogland farm. That way we can get those nice infinite pork chops. I would also love to make an iron farm because early game iron supply would be great. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We got a lot of stuff done with uh, getting the base completely built. I think it looks just great. I'm really pleased with it. 
I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!